Hello everyone! <coughs> Hello everyone! Hi Marcelo! And on this tutorial we will learn how to handle drop downs in Wipepath. So here we have a true uh, drop downs. One, it's a real uh, drop down. And the uh, other, it's a fake drop down. So it seems to be a drop down, but in reality it isn't. So we will learn. So we will learn how to handle these two scenarios. So um, so we will learn how to handle these two scenarios in Wipepath. So let's handle the first one when we have a real drop down. So here on Wipepath, first uh, we have to use a use application browser activity. And so uh, the URL to these pages will be on the description of this tutorial. So uh, we could start the URL on the variable, but as it's just a demo, let's leave here. It's okay. So uh, the activity that we will use to select a value, an option from a drop down will be the activity select item. So let's search here. And so uh, we have just to indicate uh, the drop down. So let's indicate it. And let's confirm. And now here on item to select, we can see that appears the options that are available on this drop down. So uh, to make this dynamic, so we will use a variable that will uh, give the value to be selected by this activity. So let's just use the input dialog activity here on the start of our automation. And here input label uh, select the option choose the option to be selected on the dropdown. And here input type let's use a multiple choice and now here we'll spray it by comma we'll spray it with a com we'll spray it with a smith and now here on input options let's indicate the options available on the drop down so it's the option one and option two so here option one and then uh, we need to spread by a smith column and then let's enter the other option so uh, now we'll select so then we'll store the selected option on the variable str option to select and we'll provide so uh, this variable to our drop down to our select item activity so it will know the option to be selected on a drop down. So uh, let's see how it's working. Let's run our project. So here, let's choose one of the options to be selected. And as you can see, it's working well. So let's test with uh, the other option. And it's working well. So uh, this is the way that we can handle. This is the this is one of the ways that we can handle. Um, this is one of the ways that we can handle real drop downs. But there are cases when uh, we have uh, items, elements that seems to be a drop down, but in reality, they aren't like this case. So here, if we try to use the select item activity, so first let's just use a use application browser to indicate this new page. And if we try now to use a select item activity and in the case here uh, on this um, element, we can see that uh, this activity will not work because it's not a valid Y element for the activity that we are using for the real dropdown. So, how we can handle these cases. So I'll just show one of the ways that we could use. There are different ways to handle 
this case where where we have fake drop downs let's say so i will just delete the select item activity and so uh, what we'll do it's first open uh, the list of options with a click activity and then with another click activity we will uh, so select uh, the option to be selected but we'll make this dynamic so uh, the click activity will indicate we'll select the button that we will indicate uh, to be selected on the input dialog activity so i'll just comment here the first use application browser by doing a control v and now uh, first here on the input dialog let's add the options that are available on this uh, uh, drop down so option one two three and four so here option one two and then let's add other options so uh, first we'll use a click activity to open the drop down so let's use a click And so here we can ignore if the text is clicked to select so here let's ignore and also let's remove here this attribute that uh, it's searching for so it's to search for the click to select text so i'll just remove it it's not really needed but let's do it and now uh, let's validate to see if it's valid it's okay so let's confirm and now we will use another click activity and now if you run automation we'll see that uh, this click activity will open the uh, element so the list of options so let's just see if it's working well and as we can see it has open our uh, fake drop down so now we'll use another click activity and this a click activity will be responsible to select uh, the option from uh, these drop downs so here let's click on indicate and now uh, let's click on the f2 option uh, on the f2 key in order to pause the selection mode and be able to open the list of options and now we can select any option so let's choose for example option three And now we can select here any option so for example option two and uh, let's confirm so if we run out automation it will select always the same option so if you run it so here option three for example
option 3 for example and as you can see it has selected option 2 so now I can uh, make this dynamic so in order to select the option that we indicate on the input dialog so we'll tweak the selector so here on the click activity that selects the option let's edit the selector and so here we can see that basically it's targeting for the option that has uh, uh, the text uh, the value option to so we'll remove this and replace by the value that it's on our variable that stores this the option that we indicate on the input dialog so here let's do a right click and click on use variable and now let's indicate the variable that stores the option to select and let's confirm and now here on inner text is let's make sure that we ignore uh, this and so we can also disable the detection so of the element by the image so now um, let's confirm and now let's see how it's working so and now let's see how it's working so let's just run the automation so now we have to choose option so let's nick it for example option four and as you can see we selected the option four so let's uh, test for example the another option just to see if it's working also and let's indicate option one and as we can see we selected the option one so it's that and there are another ways that we could use to handle this situation this one is this one is just one of them so i hope you liked this tutorial and if you liked it please give a thumbs up and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so i will get notified on this tutorial that i launch here on the channel